Macro in Excel can be broadly divided into three types. File level macro, global macro, and auto run macro. We will be covering all these macro types in this video, but before we start on any of these macro, let me explain some security setting related to these macro. Security setting in Excel in your computer may not allow macro to run. As macro are one type of program, there is always chance that by knowingly or unknowingly, we might be running some misbehaving codes. So to protect our computer system and files, by default, macro are not allowed so simply. So before we try to test our macro, we must be sure that these settings in Excel are proper for macro to run. Let us see this setting related to macro. Setting that we are going to see or modify will be applied to all Excel files. So open any Excel file. From there, click on File tab. Click on Options. Now, click on Trust Center. In that, click on Trust Center Settings. In this, click on Macro Settings. Here, we get four options. In your Excel, it might be second option is selected. With this option set, when we open Excel file having macro, warning message is popped up and ask us to click on Enable button to allow macro. We need to press Enable Content button to allow our macro to run. This is for security. Once we press this button, Excel won't ask next time we open this file. Let us come back to our security setting. So, now you understood one option out of four. Let us see other three options. If you choose to set first option, no macro will open along with your file. That is, even you have macro created and saved in that file, that will not come with that file and you will not even get any message. So be sure that this option is not selected. Similarly, don't select third option also. You can go for fourth option. Only we must remember that this option will allow any file with Amy macro to execute without even our knowledge. So in short, you can have second or fourth option. But don't keep first or third option. After clear understanding of macro security, let us now see each type of macro in detail. File level macro. As the name suggests, you can easily guess that this macro will run for a particular file for which it is created. But that is not the case. File level macro can work for any other Excel files, if the file containing that macro is also open at that time. Let us understand by example. Let us assume there are two Excel files with name, file A and file B. File A is having macro M1, while file B is without macro. Now if file A is open, and we have file B also open, then macro M1 of file A will also run in file B. While if we have only file B open, then macro M1 will not run in file B. Means that, if a file having macro is open, then all Excel files open at that time, can use that macro. While, global macro works for all Excel files present in that system. That is if we have global macro with name G1, then, this G1 macro can be called from any Excel file. As name suggests, global macro will run for all Excel files in that PC. When you create global macro, you will be creating global macro as normal way only. That means, when you create global macro, some Excel file is being used for that. But, to your surprise, that global macro will not be saved in that file. Global macro, you create from within any Excel files, will be saved in some another Excel file. When I said that global macro will get saved in some another Excel file, question will arise in everyone's mind. Then where does global macro get saved? Answer is, global macro are saved in the personal XLSB file. Location of this file could be different in different PC. Depends on operating system used in that computer. And the biggest hurdle is that, if you try to locate this file by searching in computer, normally you won't get in search result. So by now, another question would have come in your mind. Then how to locate this personal XLSB file? You cannot search personal XLSB file, as it is hidden file. But you can know the folder in which this file stays. In most case, it will be found in either of these place. It will be in Excel start folder. So, 
you need to locate this Excel start folder and then unhide all files in that. And you can see this file. Let us see the steps to see personal XLSB file. First, locate Excel start folder as explained just now in earlier slide. Right click Excel start folder and click on the properties and in that uncheck hidden property. When asked whether to apply to all subfolder, select yes. Now, open Excel start folder by clicking on it. You can see that personal XLSB file is present. In fact, you need not worry for where the global macro file is saved, as global macro file is automatically saved in personal XLSB file and it gets automatically loaded in memory and ready to run. So we need not worry where it is but should know about its functionality. Unless you have successfully created several file type macro, you should think 10 time before creating global macro. Because, if not created properly, it may unnecessarily interfere all Excel files. Now you have seen file level macro and global macro. You must be wondering how to create these different types of macro. Let us see that. You have seen in macro part 1 video, that when you clicked on record macro to create any macro, small window pops up, where we set shortcut key. Now let us see the second option after setting shortcut key. When we select store in this workbook option, file level macro is created. While when we select personal macro, global macro gets created. So far now, we have covered file level macro and global macro. Let us now see auto run macro. Normally, we need to call macro by pressing its shortcut key to run any macro. Say for example, if we have made macro to calculate total bill amount and shortcut key supplied was H, then we need to press Ctrl plus H to call this macro whenever we want it to run. While auto run macro, as name suggest, will run automatically. We need not manually call auto run macro. We can create macro that run automatically at certain time or as per certain event. So this macro need not require any shortcut key to run. Say for example, if we want to display a welcome message whenever anyone open Excel file, then we need to create auto run macro. Or, we need to give instruction, such as backup file, before you edit this file. Such instruction can be given using auto run macro. We will be using VBA editor to create auto run macro. Let us start creating simple auto run macro. In the developer tab, click visual basic. VBA editor window will get open. You could have used Alt plus F11 to get the same thing. Now click on this workbook. There can be many this workbook. You have to select that corresponds to your Excel file. Our present Excel file, in which we are working is having default name book 1. So select this workbook that comes under the heading of book 1. Double click it on the right hand side window. Click drop down list and select workbook. Between that coding start your coding. Just for checking how it works, let us just use message box. Remember if you are not comfortable with all these, you could still do by just typing as it is all three lines into this workbook right side window. Once codes are added, press save button to save the file. As we want to save our macro also, we need to select type as macro enabled file. Give any name to the file and save it. Now, close the file by using file tab. Let us reopen the same file to see action of our macro. We got the welcome message that we had written in our macro. This is simple auto run macro. Summarizing steps we use to create auto run macro. In the Excel file, go to developer tab and open VBA editor. Select the workbook from left hand side pan. And on the right side pan of that window, type the code shown. Save the file as macro enabled file. We can check out auto run macro by closing the file and then reopening the file. Our auto run macro should run automatically as soon as file gets open. Just quick recap. When we select store in this workbook option, file level macro is created. While when we select personal macro, global macro gets created. But to create auto run macro, we need to do coding using built in visual basic editor. So in this video, we have covered three types of macros. 
file level macro, global macro, and auto run macro. That's all for now. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for more of these videos don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates when new videos come out. Thank you.